Mr. New York. Mark Simone. 710-WOR. Well, Ann Coulter is the great columnist and best-selling author. Oh, you love all of her books. If you haven't read them all, get them. Uh, you can also, of course, follow her on Twitter. It's Ann Coulter Twitter. But the big new thing is Substack. And if you follow her there, you get columns, you get videos, you get interviews, you get podcasts. Just go to annculter.substack.com, annculter.substack.com. Ann Coulter, how you doing? Fantastic. How are you, Mark Simone? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, hey, you know, the thing about Israel, this is like the worst terrorism. This is just plain, barbaric, awful terrorism. And one thing it has exposed and brought out is some of the anti-Semitic, pro-terrorist nonsense that's all over the left wing of uh, the Democrats there. Uh, did it shock you how bad it is in some corners? Uh, no, I knew. I gather it is shocking a lot of liberals who are lobbying to bring in um, all of these third worlders. Um, it's, I mean, I complained at the time after 9-11, the administration of George Bush doubled the number of Muslims we were admitting doubled it. <laughs> I mean, it would be bad enough not to take well, any action, considering 9-11 was pulled off by immigrants. Um, but I'm not, I'm not even talking about Muslims. I'm talking like all American college kids at Harvard, NYU, CUNY. That, I mean, it, it's stunning. Mark, darling, the, if we're talking about terrorism, we're talking about Muslims. No, no, I'm talking about the ones signing these letters saying Hamas is right. Right, know. I know. They're yeah. the ones defending the yeah. Muslim terrorists. Yeah. I don't know why you're you're rebelling against this. All those Methodist terrorists. No, um, I'm just they, saying the, the Spanish students. Te Mexican te terrorists. No, we have other problems with other third worlders. Yeah. Um, but this is is a question, and and it is immigration that brings them to our shores um, under under the Uniparty under under Bush. But absolutely pedal to the metal for the very by the very people who are signing these letters. They are the ones who want to destroy America by overwhelming it with 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 immigration from the third world. Yeah. Um, contrary to 200 years of immigration policy in this country, and I might add, contrary to, to most other countries' immigration policy, specifically Israel's. Yeah. Um, so uh, there, there's a... Uh, dozens and dozens that signed this letter at Harvard. There's one at NYU. Certain people, Alan Dershowitz, the billionaire Bill Ackman, now demanding the names of Wait, all Dershowitz these. Wait, Dershowitz is pro-Israel? Of course. You could knock me over with a feather right now. You could be more pro-Israel. That was sarcasm. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but uh, uh, let's get to a different subject. Speaker of the House, do we have a favorite? Do we have somebody we want here? Uh, I'd sort of like them to put Kevin McCarthy back in, and um, I've been hating Kevin McCarthy for a long time. He is, speaking of immigration, not good on immigration, um, but really no, almost no Republicans are. You can count them on one hand, the ones who are seriously, other than the one, not just the ones who give lip service, um, but I'm, I'm – I'm really against what Gates did, and I I like Matt Gates um, on many issues. He can be smart and and articulate, um, but Republicans, both the voters and the ones I think the elected ones understand it. You need majorities in the House and the Senate, and that's all they should be focused on right now. My my column this week refers to is about. Um, Actually, it's a pretty shocking story, but it was something that the United States Congress dealt with after that miraculous 1994 election when Republicans not only took Congress for the first time in 40 years, but won gigantic majorities in Congress. Um, and the most wonderful legislation was passed back then. I think that was the most the Republican Party has gotten done in my lifetime, um, major reforms to criminal aliens, major reforms to the death penalty and habeas corpus, and major reforms, and this is the focus of my column, I mean, there were many other wonderful reforms, um, to the child welfare laws, because these crazy Hillary Clinton types um, – to this day, insist on reuniting little kids with their psychotic, murderous parents. It's a weird obsession of the left. That's what I write about. But anyway, as I was reading, what we were looking at, 
I worked um, in the in the Senate at that time, um, 95, 96, I guess. And I remembered all the testimony, and I remembered all the articles in City Journal and, and Weekly Standard and, and what the world was like back then for, for in the child welfare cases. But reading through that, I thought, oh, my gosh, when Republicans have big majorities, we can get a lot done. Um, yeah, there will... We will always have rhinos, just as we will always have the poor. Um, get a big majority, and then you can start being picky about who the speaker is. But right now, the objections I heard to Kevin McCarthy is um, he kept the government open um, when he could have shut it down and demanded more cuts in spending. Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay, I'd like cuts in spending, you'd like cuts in spending. Um, you pass that continuing resolution, it goes to the Senate, and it dies. And the government shuts down, and I'm sorry, I don't care whose fault it is, the public blames Republicans um, for a couple of reasons. One, they know Republicans don't, don't like the government, so it sort of fits in, and, and we don't. I don't think anyone should like the government. So, you know, you can't spend your entire ideological life complaining about the size of government, the uselessness of government, the inefficiency of government, the way the government wasting money, and then the government shuts down and turn around and say, well, we didn't do that. Yeah. That, was, that, that wasn't us. No, ah, that was the Democrat. Um, so there's that. And plus, as we've discussed many times, um, the, the media these days is an arm of the DNC. So no, you can't shut the government down. We need majorities in the House, the Senate, and and preferably, um, really be nice if we could win the presidency. Then you can get stuff done, well, Republicans. But until then, you're just you're just making it more difficult for for Republicans in questionable districts to win re-election or to or to flip a district. Yeah, yeah. I remember, there's a big difference in '94. They won the Congress, but you had a president, Bill Clinton, who saw which way the wind was blowing and jumped on the bandwagon. Uh, yes. That wouldn't happen today with a Joe Biden or today's Democrats. They would resist. Well, the- he's completely out of it. But I think any other Democrat, a victory like that, I mean, that was a stunning, stunning night. Um, I remember watching it. I was in New York at George Conway's house with a bunch of right wingers watching it on a big screen. And districts that hadn't voted Republican in a hundred years were flipping Republicans. It was stunning. We yeah. stayed there basically all night watching the returns. It was that's what we need, Republicans. Then you can get stuff done. That sounds like one wild party all night watching election returns. <laughs> I know, I know. It was very. But look at what we got done. Yeah. Hey, uh, let me ask you, uh, RFK Jr. What do you think of him? Well, he he has some good points on some things. He's pretty good on immigration. Um, he he's not in favor of pointless wars. Um, he has he has some good points on 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 COVID, um, and I think he goes a bit too far on others. Um, but no, he's not he's not going to be my candidate. I no, think it's I know, probably but... good to have him running um, mm. to raise some of these issues. Yeah. Uh, and, 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 How about you? Uh, well, he's a charming guy. He's a great talker. He's uh, like, hello. Yeah, can you hear me? Can you hear me now? No. What? No, 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 no. You can't no. hear me. Hello, hello. Oh, did we lose her? Uh oh. Well, we're just about out of time anyway. Yeah, what happened? The phone cut out. That might have been her phone though. I don't know. Well, we'll call her back and let her know we just ran out of time anyway. But uh, if you want more of Ann Coulter. Just follow her on Substack. Uh, and if you follow her on Substack, it's better than Twitter. On Substack, you get all sorts of stuff. You get columns, you get videos, you get podcasts. Just sign up. It's annculter.substack.com. annculter.substack.com. Hey, uh, also check out the webpage. Do you know that Donald Trump predicted 9 11 like a year before? I mean, like, <laughs> predicted it. Watch this. Watch this segment. It's Mika and Joe praising him back then for it. Uh, also, you have trouble sleeping. Uh, if you can't sleep, uh, go read this on the web page. There's an article to tell you how you can fall asleep in 120 seconds. It's all up on the web page. Go to 710wor.com/mark. 710wor.com/mark.